Hallo, 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 ihr Lieben. Und willkommen zurück zu Gabriel Knight. Okay, in der letzten Folge habe ich nicht wirklich viel gerissen. Open your mind and heart and the way will be clear to you. I'll give it my best shot. Okay, ich werde jetzt mal versuchen, ähm... Hm. Ja, wo fahre ich denn jetzt am besten mal hin? Ich habe jetzt das Muster. Im Voodoo-Museum war ich. Ah, ich könnte mal nochmal zur Polizeiwache fahren. Und nochmal mit Mosley reden. Vielleicht weiß der irgendwas Neues. You son of... Give me back my badge. Now, Knight! Sure. Thanks for letting me borrow it. Yeah? Well, you borrow it again in your history. Now, about today. Glad you made it. It'll give you a feel for how I am in action. You know, handling suspects, that sort of thing. I'm sure it'll be invigorating. Uh, who is this guy, anyway? Calls himself Crash. He's been an informant for us before, mostly helping us bust small-time pimps and dealers trying to break into the territory. Well, he's been staying invisible during these murders, but we picked him up this morning to Jackson Square. Pushing coke? He knows something. Call it Detective's Instinct. Detective's Instinct. <laughs> Got it. All right, Crash. I want to hear about these murders. You been present at the so-called voodoo ritual? I don't know nothing. I told you. Oh, come on now, you can tell me. Do you know anyone who's been to these rituals? Look, look I, I can't say nothing. You gotta let me go, man. Now you relax, no one knows you're here. The men who picked you up were plain clothesmen. Plain clothes, like you could fool them. <laughs> they know I'm here. They've got ears all over the city. They know everything. Now, who are they, Crash? Are they the ones doing the murders? Let me go! If you're so worried about being detained, start talking. Now, you tell me what I want to hear, and maybe I can get you in the witness protection program. But you have to earn it. Witness protection? Are you crazy? Don't make me laugh. Jesus, just let me out of here. Now oh, come on, who's behind these murders, Crash? Why are the victims all members of the underworld? By now they know I'm here. I mean, it's, it's different when I'm supposed to come here. Or if I can send a message, tell him I didn't say nothing. Christ, he's freaking useless. Take him back to detain him, would you, Tony? I tell you, times like this, I'd kill for true, sir, and damn the civil rights. Can I quote you on that? Huh? Hell no. Damn! We only keep him for 24 hours. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna have to let him go. Sorry it wasn't more exciting. Yeah, for the book, I mean. Maybe you can punch it up some. You know, what they call that. Fiction, that's it. It certainly is. I'll see what I can do. Okay, ich rede nochmal mit Mosley. Can I ask you about some stuff? You're the writer. Ask away. What's the status on the Voodoo Murders case? It sure as hell ain't going well. There's a lot of breaks being applied in different areas of the investigation. We're getting some real info on the victims now, and they're not exactly upstanding citizens. And I was hoping to get more out of Crash, but he's scared shitless. We'll have to let him go tomorrow morning. Sonst irgendwas? What's the status on the Voodoo Murders case? I told you, it's going for shit. Okay. Dann beleidigen wir ihn nochmal und dann gehen wir. Have you ever called the hair club for men? I'd rather have no hair than your hair, Knight. Und wieder gehen. Okay, jetzt haben wir Crash kennengelernt. I'm gonna hit the road. 
Have a good one. Ich rede mal hier mit dem Officer. Kann ich mit ihr reden? Can I ask you a few questions, ma'am? I'm sorry, sir, but I really have to finish these reports. Okay, dann jetzt wohl nicht. So, ich rede dann mal mit ihm. Got a second officer? What can I do you for? Mm. Okay, ihn kann ich auch nichts Neues fragen. Aber ich habe eine andere Idee. Und zwar habe ich jetzt äh, als Zugabe zu der, zu der äh, Krokodilsmaske ein Öl des Meisterspielers bekommen. Und im Napoleon House, in der Bar, spielen doch die zwei älteren Leute die ganze Zeit Schach. Und einer gewinnt immer. Und einer verliert immer. Und ich schätze, ich gebe dem Verlierer mal das Öl. Got a second, Sam? It's about your game. I don't have a game. That's my problem. Don't you touch those chess pieces while I'm gone, you bastard. I never needed a cheat yet, you loser. Thought you might be interested in this gambling oil. Let me see that. Master gambling oil. What's it for? Ah. Vika, lass mal bitte das Mikrofon in Ruhe. Dankeschön. Okay. Wir sagen ihm mal, dass es ein mächtiges Voodoo-Öl ist. This is a powerful Voodoo-Oil. Ah, go on. Really? This Voodoo-Oil could make a nun get lucky. Really? You think it really works, huh? I'd stake my reputation as a novelist on it. Cause using voodoo might not be fair. Don't you ever wonder why Marcus wins every time? Marcus? Using voodoo? That old best. Pitiful, isn't it? Uh, let me see that bottle. Oh, this looks authentic. Oh, it is. If I could really beat that bastard. Stonewall, give me a Pim's cup, would you? Coming up, Sam. How much you think I'd have put in here? Careful. You don't want to overdo it. Too much luck can be dangerous. Ha! There's no such thing as too much. Now stand back. Come on already. I'm ready to chat me. We'll see about that Mr. Schmuddy Big Mouth. Ich bin mir nicht sicher, dass man diese Öle trinken sollte. Checkmate! <lacht> Checkmate, you bastard! Son of a bitch! 20 years I've been waiting to say that! Checkmate, checkmate, checkmate! <lacht> oh. You are the biggest butthead Sam Singleton that I ever met! Checkmate! You! You! Jürgen, just put this chessboard where the sun don't shine! Hallelujah, I did it! Yippee! Nice game. Nice game. Hell, I was brilliant! Of course, I gotta give some of the credit to that oil of yours. I've been losing to that guy for 20 years. If you ever need a favor, you come to Sam, you hear? Will do. Okay, jetzt reden wir mal mit ihm. So, how do you feel now? Couldn't be better. So, how do you feel now? Couldn't be better. Can I ask you some questions now? Look, I'd be glad to help you out, but I've been stuck in this bar too long to know much about anything. Can I ask you some questions now? Look, I'd be glad to help you out, but I've been stuck in this bar too long to know much about anything. Aber, aber, aber. Hm. Kennt ihr das? Does this mean anything to you? Not really. Aber ich wollte doch mit ihm reden. Äh, äh, über Voodoo. Does this mean anything to you? Not really. Hm. 
Kann ich da draußen mit dem Drummer reden? Gabriel kann nicht anything mit dem Drummer auf der Straße machen. Die Tür. Dann gehe ich mal wieder. Ich glaube, ich könnte mal die, die Telefonbucheinträge checken. Über Madame Casanou. Hey Grace, here I am. The excitement of seeing you is killing me. Mm, da ist das Telefon. Ach Mist, ich habe vergessen, die Zettel rauszuholen. <lacht> Okay, schauen wir es uns mal an. Kasanu. Oh, jetzt brauche ich einen Stift und Papier. Somewhere there's a New Orleans phone book missing one of its C pages. Eins, zwei, eins, null. Ich probiere es mal. Hallo, qué es la? Uh, Gabriel. Gabriel, je sais pas, qué es ti? A wrong number. Uh, trompé, en erreur, whatever. Quel idiot. Okay, die nächste Nummer. 1, 2, 2, 0. 5, 5, 5, 1, 2, 2, 0, okay. Please hang up and try your call. Ah, uh, zu schnell getippt. 555 1 2 2 0. Hello, Kazanu Residence. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. Yeah? A woman in the Dixieland drugstore dropped her purse today and the name Kazanu was inside it. Dixieland drugstore? Never heard of it, sorry. Okay. Mein Bauchgefühl sagt mir, dass es vielleicht doch die letzte Nummer in der Reihe ist. Casa US 535 1233. 535-1233. Habe ich das jetzt falsch getippt? 5551123. Äh, Moment. Ach, ich sollte mir echt einen Zettel holen. Andererseits Gedächtnis. 5351233. Hm. Ich habe noch 5551280. Probieren wir das mal. Hallo? Hallo? I'm Connor from the Dixieland Drugstore. We have an order for you. Castro, be quiet. Who is this? I'm a friend of the owner. I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. Nochmal. Yes? Hi. I called earlier about your drugstore order. Harsh, Castro! I told you. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, okay. Hm. Was haben wir da? Cajun Haustierklinik, Spezialklinik für Hunde. 5556170. Somewhere there's a new. 5556170. Probieren wir das mal. Cajun Critters Animal Clinic. This is Melissa. <lacht> Was wissen Sie über Tieropfer? Know anything about animal sacrifice? What are you, some kind of sicko? <lacht> ah, schön. Cajun Critters Animal Clinic, this is Melissa. Do you have a Madame Kazonu as a client? Madame Kazonu? 
Sure, I know her. She's not here right now, though. Really? Hmm. She told me she'd be there. Uh, would you happen to have an address by any chance? Uh, yes. But I'm not sure I should give it out. Who are you again? I'm worried about Castro. He's missed three dance lessons. Castro? Her little doggy? Oh, he's so sweet. Well, I guess if you know Castro, it's okay. Uh, her address is 345 Dauphine. Thanks. So, dann können wir jetzt mal die alte Dame belästigen. Denn wenn man die Welt retten muss, will, muss man manchmal eine alte Dame, eine alte Dame belästigen. Ja, das gehört sich so in Adventures. Don't hurry back on my account. Wohnung von Casanu. Hübsch wohnt die Lady. Hm. Aber ich denke mal, die lässt mich so als Fremden nicht rein. Vielleicht muss ich mich hier mal... Ich kann es ja mal probieren. It would be yes. Who is it? Hi, I'm doing an article on Voodoo and I heard that you... I am a good Catholic young man. Take your evil influence elsewhere. But I just have a few questions. I can feel the evil eye. Go away. Sie ist eine gute Katholikin. Okay, dann verkleiden wir uns da auch mal als guter Katholik. Nee. Gabriel. All right, but this is private. It would be better. Yes. Who is it? Father McLaughlin is here. It's Father McLaughlin to see you. Well, Father, you should be ashamed of yourself being so ill-groomed. I'm sure the bishop would never approve. You can just go get a haircut before you come calling on me again. I know my duty, Father. But a priest seeking contributions should take pains to represent the church with respect. Ah, die Haare machen. Okay, Gott sei Dank kann mir das Haar gehen. The things I do for my art. Yes, who is it? Father McLaughlin. It's Father McLaughlin to see you. I see you've taken my advice, Father. I didn't mean to be harsh, but the church is the church. Well, when you're right, you're right. Exactly. Come in, Father. Please be seated, Father. Thank you. Now, what can I do for you? Erst mal umschauen, was gibt's denn hier? Madame seems to like candles. Wer nicht? Ich frage mich, ob diese beiden die Spezialitäten von Mr. Walkers Shop sind. Es gibt eine alte Fashion Jewelry Box auf der Kaffee Table. Die Painting hinter der Couch ist eine Madonna in Child. Die Tea Service hat recent polished recently. Madame uses it mit ihren Creole Sisters, perhaps? Erstmal Small Talk. It's so nice of you to invite me in. Ah, but no, mon père. I am always happy to see one of the good fathers. Was gibt's denn hier noch? Was... Ist das ein Schlangenmuster? The folding screen has a colorful pattern. It looks oriental. Madame's parlor is full of carefully dusted and polished relics of her past. Was ist das? Like all good hostesses, Madame has candy out for her guests. These appear to be several decades old. Mm, lecker. Do you find the weather to your liking? It's terribly humid. I only go out in the morning and evening. Have you been attending mass regularly, my child? Oh yes, father. I attend mass every morning. Many don't these days, you know. You are dedicated, madame. It's so nice of you to invite me in. Ah, but... 
Okay, jetzt wiederholt sich das, dann fangen wir mal, dann fangen wir mal mit dem Verhör der alten Dame an. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions, my child? Of course not, mon père. Tell me about yourself. Me? I am Creole. My family has been in New Orleans for over 200 years. Real New Orleanians are French, you see. These days the city is overrun with people with no heritage at all. No offense, father, but it's true. But the French, naturellement, will always be the true blood of New Orleans. Mm -hmm. Tell me about yourself. Well, father, I don't know what else to say. Okay, wir fragen sie mal aus. What can you tell me about St. John's Eve? St. John's Eve? Mais oui! I used to love the St. John's Eve Mass at Sandwich Cathedral. Of course, it is also a night of great wickedness. Worse than All Hallows Eve. They will corrupt anything, Father. They? They who? Oh, you know. Nee, weiß ich nicht. What can you tell me about St. John's Eve? I don't think I should say any more about that. Hmm. Do you have any idea what Cabri Saint Cor means? <laughs> Mais oui. I know. I bet you do not, Father. Nespa. Of course I know what it means, do you? I wasn't born yesterday, Father. I won't tell you what it means if you don't already know. Mm -hmm. What can you tell me about voodoo? Ah, people think I'm just a foolish old woman. But I know the things they do. My family's been in New Orleans since 1750. So I know more than most. Voodoo people are all over this city. In the shops, everywhere. They'll curse you like that. And most people don't even notice. Spit on your bread at the bakery. Take strands of your hair at the store when you try on the clothes. You have to be so careful. But I know their ways, so I can protect myself. I know how to use the magic too. And I can counteract their evil spells. Tell me more about voodoo in New Orleans. It's just plain evil. It's dangerous to even discuss it. Tell me more about... Okay, dann frage ich nochmal... Dann frage ich nochmal nach den Morden. What do you know about the voodoo murders? Voodoo murders? Ha! They are nothing new to me, father. They happen all the time. I hardly go out anymore. It's too dangerous in the streets. They can get you anywhere, you know. Even here in this room. But I try not to let them know about me. That's the best way. Mm-hmm. What do you know about the voodoo murders? Shh. They'll hear you. What can you tell me about New Orleans? The only true New Orleanians are of French origin, you know. My family were among the original settlers of New Orleans. They came here from France. The Creole society used to be so gay in New Orleans. Now it barely hangs on by its fingernails. What can you tell me about New Orleans? You know, I can stroll the streets of the French Quarter and see in my mind's eye the way it used to be. It was wonderful in the old days. What can you tell me about New Orleans? New Orleans isn't what it used to be, I can tell you. There's too few of the real people left. What can you tell me New Orleans? Okay, das, das wiederholt sich jetzt, dann frage ich mal nach Schlangen. Do you know anything about snakes? Snakes? They're evil creatures. Did you know that evil people can send them into your dreams? They can. That's why I never sleep. Right, thanks. Wie sie schläft nie. Do you know anything about snakes? 
It would be bad luck to talk about that anymore. Do you know anything about Marie Laveau? Oh, her? I could tell you about her. Voodoo Queen. Ha! My great-grandmother was an acolyte of Marie Laveau. She knew the truth about her. Und die wäre? Tell me more about Marie Laveau. No, no. I won't say anything more. Not to you, father. I'm sure you mean well, but you are an outsider. Do you know anything about animal masks? No, father. I don't know anything about that. Okay, sie hält mich für einen, Au für einen Außenseiter, einen Außenstehenden. Ich zeige ihm mal das hier. Vielleicht hilft dir das. Does this mean anything to you? No, father. It does not. Hmm. Does this mean anything to you? No, father, it does not. Does this mean anything to you? No, father, it does not. Hmm. Zeig mir die Schlangenhaut. Does this mean anything to you? No, father, it does not. Ich zeige ihm mal das Foto der Morde. Madame Carlson, who is paranoid and fearful enough without showing her that graphic photograph. Mm. This is the last page of inventory. Mm. This is the first page. Ich rede noch mal mit ihr. Do you mind if, if you... About Cabri Sancor. Where are you going to tell me what it means, father? No, I don't. <laughs> Just as I thought. You shouldn't talk about things you don't understand. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, ich glaube, ich mache mal einen Schnitt und dann sehen wir uns in der nächsten Folge. Bis dann!